as you see, I have a lot of build up on the walls, especially some of them. This one I already started work on it. Yeah, and um, first thing, of course, pull the injectors out, send them to for the ultrasound clean. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull them out right now. So cover with some, I don't know, uh, gorilla tape or something, all these holes and put something underneath. This video is gonna be about how to clean the intake manifold and other stuff. So you guys will need, of course, gloves, injector kit, because we gotta reseal everything and pull it out. Pick to clean the hardness buildup, the carbonic, carbonic uh, buildup right there. I'm gonna use the pick first. I have multiple sizes. So this is the first step. You gotta take all the hardness stuff first, dry. And you go like this, go over the valve and suck everything with the vacuum. That's why I prepare my vacuum, shop vacuum. When you do all the hard stuff and clean with the vacuum, I'll, I'm gonna try to use purple valve first. Make sure the valve is closed position. And uh, yeah, let it sit for a little bit, five minutes or so. And the way I'm planning to do, I have all kind of bunch of the brushes. That's what the plumbers are using for half inch, three quarter, one inch pipe. So I'm gonna cut it here and put it in my drill and gonna go over the uh, intake port. So that's my plan. Let's do it. And I have a brake cleaner just for in case. All right, let's do it. So I use first stage, use the pick to clean the hardness. It's already a big difference, right? I was worse. And that, that I was looking before. I don't know, my phone is not focusing. And like this. Big difference already. <laughs> I pulled the injectors off. They all this kind of shape. Yeah, it's definitely didn't flow good because I have misfire on this engine. And this is could be because of the buildup of the carbon oxide and plus injectors. So we gotta send them for the ultrasound clean flow match. And while it's doing that, we gotta clean all the intake ports. So one side is done. That's how it looks. It's actually way better than before. It's not a really perfect clean job, but it's good enough for performance-wise. It's plenty. So this is a passenger side I'm doing right now. And I have to take a lot of shit around it to get to the manifold uh, guys if you pull the engine my advice do that because this engine got the build up really bad even this car got this engine got only 40,000 miles still you know a lot of build up on the intake ports it's gonna be a really good time to pull it out clean up send the injectors for clean so you don't have to go twice you don't have to pull the engine Long as the engine is out, you bought it the engine, do it, please. I did a mistake, so <laughs> um, I didn't even take a look at the walls, actually, the way they look. So, yeah, I'm at this point, I'm going to take this one off and clean all these four and uh, going to be ready. Passenger side head, same problem, build up. This side actually not really bad, except this cylinder, the first one. Other ones looks a little bit, no, yeah, it's a little bit gunk and cloth too. Yeah, the injectors is really, really bad condition. I can't even see the, I can't even see the 
Freaking holes. No. Yeah, so injectors gotta send for the cleanup, definitely. Alright, clean up and flow much match. Alright, let's do this one now. And we should be ready for big power. Peace. That's why I did it. So all the crop is gonna run down to here and something like this. Let's do it. This is the passenger side. All done. Yeah.